all right y'all we are back with another video and here we go again with corrupt e jean carroll y'all know the woman that couldn't remember nothing they're trying to blame and say that donald trump did something to her but this woman was awarded 83 million dollars by a corrupt judge that don't that don't like donald trump that's what i'm saying you can't believe any of these people and alina Haber wasn't even able to say anything to bag up her claims because E. Jean Carroll has been lying on Donald Trump this entire time. This right here ain't nothing but a money grab. And I believe this corrupt judge is on to it. He's on with it. He know what's going on. He know that E. Jean Carroll is a liar. But since they don't like Donald Trump, he just took the woman word for it. You telling me somebody can just go to a courtroom, don't remember anything, and win $83 million. Even though Alina Hobble came out and said that uh, e. Jean Kara won't be seeing a dime of Donald Trump's money. So it brings me to this next one right here. This one right here is coming by Doug. I will leave the original video in the description. Make sure y'all go to Doug's channel. Let him know that I sent you, all right? And he said that the police just took an unregistered gun away from E. Jean Kara who committed a felony. This right here does not look good. So we definitely finna dive straight into it and see exactly what happened. So make sure y'all please hit that like button. Everybody that clicked on the video, hit that like button so more people can see this video. Subscribe to the channel if you are new so you can stay up to date with everything that's going on, all right? So uh, let's go ahead and dive straight into this and let's see exactly what happened. The police learned that E. Jean Carroll had a unregistered gun uh, during her Trump testimony. This all backfired on her because now... They go and they confiscate her gun because it's illegal and she's unstable and has too much money. Welcome to Doug in Exile. This is where the happy patriots are. As we celebrate Trump's victory, maybe a little prematurely, but you know, NBC News headline, police took possession of E. Jean Carroll's unregistered gun after her testimony in Trump defamation trial. Wow. Carroll revealed on the witness stand this year she had a handgun at her home but didn't have a license for it. This once again confirms that what uh, Alina Haba and Trump said about her is true. Yep. That she had an illegal weapon at her house. Okay, here's the article. Police in New York took possession of a gun belonging to Ryder. I'm putting Ryder in quotes. E. Jean Carroll in February, after she said during the testimony in her defamation lawsuit against former President Trump that she had an unlicensed firearm at home. She's a gun runner. Guys, she's a gun trafficker. Illegal firearms. What is this? Uh, one of those uh, south of the border gangs? Mm. She's running weapons? That's just so her. According to a police report obtained by NBC News, the chief of police in Warwick, New York, visited Carol at her home on February 15th to discuss some open issues, unquote. We'd like to talk to you about some issues. Look mm. over there. And then they're like, jumper. The report states, including Carol's disclosure of the handgun while she was on the witness stand in January 17th, during the second day of civil trial, Carol had told the federal court in lower Manhattan that she kept a, quote, high standard revolver, nine chambers at home with ammunition by my bed, she said. I still do not have a license, Carol added. I think she hmm. was probably bragging. No, this like sound like. Us, like, hey, I got it. Yeah, there's no license. Hey, it's under the bed. Not something I would say in public, but John Rader, the reporting officer, said in his report he offered to secure the weapon at the police station property for safekeeping. Kind of ironic. This uh, this is almost comedic. The officer's name is John Rader, hmm. and he raids her for a gun. Okay. Carol and a member of her security team surrendered the gun. A day after Raider visited and the firearm was being held until Carol receives a New York pistol license. Good luck with that. The report said Carol and an attorney of hers did not immediately respond to requests for comments Friday, Friday evening, nor did Raider. Under New York state law, a person can be found guilty of criminal possession if they possess a firearm, such as a pistol, that has not been registered. The fer felony mm -hmm. ca uh, carries a maximum sentence of four years. Okay, now I got to update the title of my show that she's a felon. 
because uh, she has a, she had an unregistered. That's now this was this would only be if she was a Republican, only if she if her last name was Trump, which she ever gets right. charges. She's a yeah. Democrat and a floozy and a and a weird journalist of some kind, very crass person. So she, they will be like, we see nothing. That's the Alvin Bragg. That's the way Letitia James runs it. They're like, we see no crime here. We we saw the little D next to your name instead of Republican. And so you get to do what you want, with even with firearms. Look, Democrats are crazy about confiscating weapons and uh, and arresting people for felonies for felonies. Yeah. Unless it's Hunter Biden, you can have you're on drugs and you can have an illegal unregistered gun and you can try to ditch it and you get no time, nothing. If you're on J six and they find a BB gun in your great aunt's closet, you're going to prison. It was unclear why police waited almost a month to inquire in person about the, and she definitely committed a felony. So we're going to see if they're going to do anything about this. Let's see if the news stations and see if they're going to report on this. Because that is a crime. This woman has a gun that is unregistered, and she admitted to it. It's by my bed, nine chambers. So she definitely committed a felony. So we're going to see what's going to happen, which me personally, I believe, like what Doug said, they only want you if your last name is Trump. Let Trump would have got on the stand and say, hey, I got an unregistered gun uh, at the house, and I got nine chambers. What do you think that would have did to Donald Trump? They will be raiding the crap out this man's house. Because they don't like them. You will be hearing Fannie Willis talk about it. You will be hearing Letitia James talk about it. You will be hearing all of these people coming after Donald Trump. But since E. Jean Carroll is a Democrat and she's on that other side, they're just going to let her just get away with it. I guarantee you they're going to let this woman get away with it because that's definitely a crime. Having an unregistered gun in your, uh, in your possession. And then all these, you remember what Trump said with all these death threats that she made? And she deleted them, and she admitted to deleting them, and that crooked judge still let her get away with it. That's what I'm saying. You can't find no, uh, like, no good judges. I mean, Judge Eileen Cannon has, like I said, been, like, one of the only fair ones that's kind of calling it down the middle. But the rest of these judges don't like Donald Trump at all. Judge and Run, Judge Kaplan, Judge Mershon, like, all of these judges are Democrat judges that don't like Donald Trump. Whoever he going to, uh, going against... They're going to side with them because they don't like Trump. Then this woman done committed a, a, a felony. So we're going to definitely see exactly what's going to happen. But like I said before, I don't think anything is going to, uh, is going to get done about it. I really don't. <laughs> it's all about who we like. Unregistered gun. Carol said she had at her house or whether police are still in possession of it. Carol's gun became a contentious topic under cross-examination in January hearing. As Trump attorney Alina Haba pressed Carol on her gun ownership and whether she knew she needed a license for it. The judge, now look, how many of you think any New Yorker with an unregistered gun doesn't know they need a license for their gun? Hmm. You, you'd you have to be an idiot. Exactly. I'm sorry, but uh, E. Jean Carroll knew. Knew she was committing a felony. The judge yep. presiding over the case, U.S. District Judge Lewis Kaplan, appeared outwardly frustrated over the line of questioning by Haba. Don't even start, told her when she began asking Carol about the firearm. See how unfair that is? That's how unfair this trial was. Alina Haba, she had to fight a a, a fellow, another attorney and a judge. It was it's always yep. two on one in these New York cases. Yep. This is another fun one. I'm happy I hope E. Jean Carroll, of course, if this was if there was any justice, She'd be nailed for a felony for illegally uh, holding a gun and even flaunting it to the court. This is what Democrats can do now. They can but, say, but it. this is what I'm saying though. The judge ain't gonna do anything about it. Like, a, like Alina said, like she couldn't really even say anything when she say something. Either judge tell her shut up or or be quiet and all type of crap. That's what I'm saying. You can never get any fair judges. Never. That's what I was saying. If the shoe was on the other foot and Trump said he had an unregistered gun and admitted to it, you don't think they would have tried to do something to Donald Trump? You don't think they would have tried to uh, uh, put him in jail, raid his house? Man, it'll be all over the news if Trump came out and said, I got an unregistered gun. And then said nine chambers. Shoot. Come on now.
in public and smear it in the judge's face and go, what are you going to do about it? Judge, I'm E. Jean Carroll. I'm an enemy of Trump, so I have Teflon. She could have uh, discharged the gun in the courtroom and probably would still be found not guilty. That's how this works, guys, in America. Welcome to the new America. Let me know what you guys think. Will E. Jean Carroll ever get this gun licensed? Will she go buy another firearm? And if she does buy a new firearm, what do you think it will be? Uh, let me know in the comments below. I'm done. Yeah, shout out to Doug for another another great video, man. E. Jean Carroll caught with a gun. Didn't they say it took him, what, a month just to, just not trying to go get it from her? So it's like, come on, man. <laughs> I'm telling you, it, it, these Democrat boys, they left, they can just get away with any and everything. They only want you if your last name is Trump. They're just the way it is. But I can't, I can't wait until he just... He just get uh, get all this stuff out the way, and he become the president, and Trump going to reminisce and just say, you know what, look at all these people that went after me, all these people that lied on me because they didn't want me to become president. Now look what happened. So I will keep y'all up to date to see exactly what's going to go on. Like I said, I'm going to say it for the third time. I don't think they're going to do anything to this woman. They're going to try to let her get away with it because she's going after Donald Trump. That's just the way I see it. If they was to go out the uh go out the E. Jean Carrier, it will surprise the mess out of me. But me personally, I don't see that happening. This woman then committed a felony. If you like Doug said, you in New York and don't know that you that you're supposed to have a registered gun, something is definitely wrong with you. So you really can take this woman word in court. It's like, come on. <laughs> this right here is just it just done got out of hand. Justin got out of hand. But like I said, y'all let me know in the comment section what y'all think. Make sure you hit that like button for me if you haven't. Subscribe to the channel. Thank you all for watching, and I'll catch y'all in the next one.